Indian Chess Grandmaster Ramesh Babu Pragnananta wins 2022 Reykjavik Open. Warmer Dammax is second, Andersen Metz is third. Congratulations to the winners. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we will analyze a game from 2022 Reykjavik Open where Pragnananta celebrates a very beautiful victory. His opponent is French international master Pierre Laurent Paoli. Prago opened up with d4 switch, Laurent Paoli answered with knight f6, c4 e6, knight f3, white is choosing this anti-Nimza Indian move and there it goes. We have the queen's gambit declined three knights variation. Bishop b4, this is the Ragozin defense, queen a4 check, knight c6, e3 black castled kingside, queen goes back, d takes c4, bishop takes c4, so we are following a well-trodden path, nothing special, this is all theory, h3, a6, and d takes e5. Here, the most popular move is considered to be a3, followed by rook d1, but in our game, Bragu played d takes e5. Knight takes e5, then we have an exchange of knights, bishop d2, queen e7, and f4. Bragu is going for a very interesting move, which leads to a pawn sacrifice, and then he recaptured with the bishop, sacrificing the pawn on e3. Black accepted that pawn sacrifice, but better was playing safely, not paying attention to that pawn. Uh, instead we have queen takes e3, and now black has to be very careful, black has to defend very accurately, something which is very difficult to do, you know. White has a nice bishop pair and great attacking chances on the king's side. Right now bishop takes f6 is the threat, that's why Black played queen b6 and rook f3. White is switching his rook into the attack from the third rank. Now bishop f6 is the threat followed by bishop takes h7. That's why black played h6. Rook d1, rook e8, queen b1 and bishop e6. This is a very, very strange move and I just can't understand why did Laurent Paoli make this move. Better was playing b5 and then fianchettoing the bishop. Instead we have bishop e6 with which black is blocking the 6 rank and is allowing bishop takes f6. Yeah, this is very strange that black allowed white to damage his king side and then how are you going to neutralize this ferocious attack? Rook g3 check king h8. This is already losing on the spot. Better was playing king f8 but in our game we have king h8 and f5. Bishop c4, queen c1 with a direct mating threat, king h7, rook d4. We can see that mobilization is in full swing and the last piece is coming. Yes, black is in a very tough situation. Let me tell you that already queen takes h6 is the threat. Let's just make a random move, for example a5, just for an example, then queen takes h6 check followed by bishop f3 and there is no way to neutralize this threat. White is announcing a checkmate. Bishop f3 is important not to allow a move like king h5. In our game, after rook d4, black played bishop e2. In order to cover this diagonal, probably you guessed that already this move won't work. Yes, because yeah, black has a bishop. There is no way to make a progress, that's why after bishop e2, Pragu made another move, which looks very nice, of course. Can you find his next move? Ready? Here Pragnananta played bishop d3, a powerful deflective move. If you accept the bishop sacrifice, then just check, followed by a checkmate. After bishop d3, we have queen e5 and rook h4. A mating threat is hanging in the air. h5, bishop takes e2, queen takes e2, and now what? How to intensify the pressure? On the surface it may look that 
With the help of the exchange of bishops, Black managed to cover the square, but Prago found a brilliant move to win the game. That move is queen c4, trying to deflect the defender, and at the same time white queen is hitting on f7. There is no move like queen d1 here, yeah, because check checkmate will follow. Uh, that's why, understanding that it's over, black allowed this beautiful checkmate to appear on the board. Black played queen takes c4, and we have a very impressive checkmate with two rooks. As you know, this mating pattern is called the lawnmower mate. Very nice game. Sure you enjoyed it. Feel free to share with your friends as well. And in the end, a chess puzzle where the task is to announce mate with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.